हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आई टी गेट कोचिंग डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द इंस्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई फ्री लेक्चर सो दिस इज अबाउट मी आई मेर कंप्यूटर साइंस गेट फैकल्टी हैविंग मोर देन फाइव प्लस ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस मेटेड मोर देन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स टॉट इन डिफरेंट कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑल ओवर इंडिया ओके इट्स लाइक द गेट अकेडमी इवन क्वालिफाइड मल्टीपल टाइम्स गेट and even i have given the coaching in many government colleges as well as in many private colleges like in srm chennai i have given coaching cet bhubneswar i have given bc bagalpur jorhat college of engineering guwahati university dubrigar university government college of engineering and technology jammu ramgarh engineering college okay these are the colleges where i have went and i have given the coaching increment and decrement operator increment and decrement operator तो टाइप कन्वर्शन हमारा हो गया अब हम लोग देखेंगे इंक्रीमेंट एंड डिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर इंक्रीमेंट एंड डिक्रीमेंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंक्रीमेंट एंड डिक्रीमेंट इंक्रीमेंट एंड डिक्रीमेंट इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर जो हमारा है इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर इज लाइक प्लस प्लस एंड डिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर इज माइनस माइनस इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर का नाम क्या है इट इज प्लस प्लस अवर इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर माइनस माइनस इज दिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर सो द इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर द इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर सो वॉट इज द वर्क ऑफ इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर इट्स इंक्रीमेंट द ऑपरेंट बाई वन बाई वन इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर प्लस प्लस एड वन to its operand it is going to add one to its operand it is going to add one to its operand while decrement operator is going to decrement while dec while the decrement while the decrement operator while the decrement operator minus minus subtract one while the decrement operator minus minus subtracts it is going to subtract one and it is going to add one okay so it can be used it can be used either in a prefix or postfix so we are having a two type that is pre increment or post increment so the the unusual unusual aspect is that is that plus plus and minus minus plus plus and minus minus may be used may be used either as may be used either as prefix either as prefix operators either as prefix operators it is going to be used either as prefix so prefix operators means before the variable before the variable before the variable for the variable as in plus plus n or postfix or postfix after the variable after the variable that is n plus plus okay so in both the case it is going means you can use if you are having some value n then you can use n equal to 5 then you can use n plus plus also it is also going to give you 5 Plus plus n is also going to give you five, and even if you uh, sorry, it is going to give you six. It is going to give you six. You can either use in postfix or prefix. Okay, you can either use as a postfix or prefix. So it is going to be six. It is also going to be six. Okay, and even same as even same as uh, minus minus n and n minus minus. It is going to give you. it is going to give you 4 and it is also going to give you 5 okay so now but what is the difference between these two but what is the difference between these two pre increment and post increment what is the different the expression now we are talking about pre increment the expression plus plus n increment plus plus n increment n before its value is used before its value before its value is used okay while while 
n plus plus increment while n plus plus increment increments n n after its after its value has been after its value has been okay so its point number is three so with example i will make it more clear it is saying that the expression plus plus n increment n before its value is used it is going to increment plus plus n is going to increment n before its value is used okay so before using that it will increment that okay so plus plus n increment n before its example if i will take like x equal to plus plus n and let's assume n is equal to 5 n is equal to 5 then then here if you will print print n n is going to be 6 and x is going to your x is going to your 6 okay because the expression plus plus n increment n before its value is used so it will first increment it 5 is going to become 6 so it will become 6 and then it will assign then it will do so how this will going to perform plus plus n it will going to execute as n equal to n plus 1 then x is going to n like this it is going to be performed you can assume that x plus plus n is like this and while n plus increment while n plus plus increment n after its value is going to be used so if example if same example n is equal to 5 and x you are doing n plus plus so it will execute like it will execute like x equal to n then n is going to your n plus 1 x you are going to get 5 so if you will print x if you will print x you are going to get 5 and n if you will print then you are going to get 6. This is the difference. Here both is going to get 6. Here 1 is going to get 5. Okay. This is the thing. Understood? And one more Im important thing that we can apply increment and decrement operator only in a variable, not in an expression. Okay. So the increment, it is very, very important. Increment the increment and decrement operator the increment and decrement operator the increment and decrement operators the increment and decrement operators can be can only be can only be applied can only be applied to a variable it is going to be applied only to a variables okay only to a variables okay it can't be applied to a expression can't be can't be applied can't be applied to an when expression example i plus j plus plus is illegal it is not allowed it will give you error because it's a expression i plus j is your expression it can be only be applied to a variable Okay. Now next. Now when you don't want the value, okay, in a in a context, in a context where in a context where no value in a context where no value is wanted, you don't want any value in a context where no value is wanted. Just increment effect. Just you want the increment effect. You don't want the value of that. You just want to means you don't want to assign that value in any operate any operand you just want to increment it if you just want to increment it then prefix and postfix both act as same it is going to be both act as a same so in a in in a context where no value is wanted when no value is wanted just the increment just the increment effect just the increment effect just the incrementing effect just the incrementing effect okay the post, the post fix and prefix and prefix are the same, are the same. Okay. If you are writing in a code, if you are writing in a code, like if you are doing something, if your n is your 5 and you are doing n plus plus, it is also going to give you n equal to 6 and plus plus n is also going to give you n equal to 6. 
because here you are not assigning to someone okay you are not going to you, the in a context when no value is wanted you don't want the value in somewhere else it it will be in both the case it the post and pre just like if uh, you do so some people get doubt sir in for loop while i equal to 0 i is smaller than n if i'll do i plus plus like this then what will be the what is going to difference and like i equal to 0 i is smaller than n and i plus plus the c here here we are not using the value in the any assignment so the expression value is going to be i here also it will execute as i plus 1 here also it will execute as i plus 1. okay so here the i plus 1 is going to you increment by 1 here also i getting it so in a context see in a context where no value is wanted you don't want the value in some something just increment effect increment effect so postfix and prefix are the same then postfix and prefix are the same okay understood now we generally use uh, postfix and prefix in some code like like if you want if you want the code if you are having a code like delete like, now we are writing a code delete delete all c from 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 the array from the array s you want to delete c from array s so whenever you will have c you will delete from s means you are having i am writing void sequence void is quiz okay. and you are having cat s and int c like this you are having now you are here you are having int i here you are having int i and j now you are doing for i equal to j equal to means both is going to have same you are assigning i equal to j j equal to 0 so means i and j is both going to 0 j you are going to 0 i is going to be 0 now you are checking see you this is a uh, array of character you know that so it will have it will check till it is going to have not equal to none okay so it will increment to 0 so you know that last character is going to your null so you are scanning one by one and then incrementing I will uh, teach you all this in the next class for loop by loop all this so if we are checking if s of i s of i is not equal to c if it is not equal to c then what you are going to do you are incrementing you are first you are first see this is is i this is i in the j j is going to zero only then increment after so here here how it will work this see my main intention is to clear this one it will work like this code if you write this code like this it will work like it will work like if s s i not equal to c it will first j is going to become so j will be as it is first it, it is post increment it is post increment first assignment will happen s j then this will happen then i will get increment so then j will get increment j equal to j plus j equal to j understood this is the meaning if you are writing in the suffix j plus plus so first it will be have j then it will get increment understood and at last this is the code okay in this code i just use this code just to explain you that how this is working how this is working whenever whenever you are writing s j plus plus is a post so first it will be as a j you will so at zero it will you are going to get, get i then understood 